I was in Texas with my colleague Antonio Lascano, who was also a good friend of Stanley's, and we were preparing to give a couple back-to-back -back lectures, and we were looking at each other's slides, and Antonio just sort of mentioned to me, he says, well, you know, Stanley showed me a vial of stuff that he said he'd saved from his original experiment, and I said, you're kidding me. I said, he never mentioned this to me, and he goes, well, he, you know, he just sort of showed it casually and put it back in the box. I said, well, what, where is that box? He says, well, I don't know. It was in his office. Well, I, all of a sudden I realized I'd inherited everything that was in his lab and office. And so I, when I got back to my lab, we started looking around, and here we found these old cardboard boxes marked 1953-1954 uh, experiments. And we started opening them, and in that we found extracts from each of the three experiments, including this one that we called the volcanic apparatus. And all of a sudden I realized here we had the original samples in our hands that we could now reinvestigate that experiment using modern analytical methods that Stanley did not have at his disposal at the time. And what we found was indeed the volcanic apparatus not only produced a richer mixture of amino acids, but many of the amino acids are ones that have never been detected previously in a simulated earlier synthesis experiment. So it was really revolutionary. Thank <laughs> you.